For the past few months or so, I've been running Lineage OS in place of the original ROM that came with my phone, and in this video we're going to discuss whether you should consider using Lineage OS on your device. This is by no means a review of Lineage OS since there's not a whole lot I can really say about it. This video is basically just talking about my experience with it, and what you should know before you install it. So what is Lineage OS? Well, Lineage OS is a custom ROM of Android that doesn't come with any Google apps or services. Like other ROMs, people typically install Lineage OS for better privacy, more freedom, or because the version of Android that came pre-installed on their phone kinda sucks. For example, I've heard Xiaomi phones are full of ads, which, aside from being bad for privacy, is just really annoying. In my case, it was a combination of all three. Since I don't really use any Google services, I don't have any need or desire to have a bunch of apps from an ecosystem I don't use or really care about collecting my data and getting in my way. Most phones also have bloatware that the user can't remove themselves because it's installed as a system app, so installing Lineage OS or a custom ROM eliminates this. Another advantage of Lineage OS is that it allows you to run an up-to-date version of Android on phones that are no longer supported so you can continue to use your old phone indefinitely. Installing Lineage OS or any Android ROM for the first time can be a bit of a pain. I won't go into too much detail, but it involves unlocking the bootloader, fast booting into TWRP or recovery mode, enabling ADB, and then sideloading Lineage OS from your PC. You may also want to sideload Magisk to root your phone, and OpenG apps or MicroG to get Google Play services running, which some apps may rely on. Most tutorials on installing Lineage OS assume you're running Windows, but there are some tutorials for those using Linux, including one from Mental Outlaw, and I'm going to assume that everybody watching this video, or at least most of the people watching this video, are using Linux. By default, Lineage OS only comes with basic apps like a clock, calendar, and contacts. To download additional apps, I would recommend installing F-Droid which is an app store that exclusively has free software. It's great for when you need basic apps that aren't bloated or full of ads. Now while I do have the Play Store on my phone, I don't use it and I don't think you should either, because the Aurora Store allows you to install apps from the Google Play Store without signing into a Google account, which is ideally what you want if you're using a de-Googled phone. Another thing I should point out is that installing a custom ROM will void your warranty, so you probably won't want to do it with a brand new phone, or a phone that's on a contract. If you're worried about installing Lineage OS yourself, you can buy phones that already have it pre-installed on eBay, like this OnePlus 6 or this Pixel 3. These phones are a few generations old, but the specs are not bad. Pair it with a case, a screen protector, and a cheap SIM-only deal, and you've got a really solid device. Well this is all fine and dandy, but is Lineage OS actually better for privacy? Compared to stock Android, yes it is, because it doesn't come with any Google apps or spyware preloaded by the manufacturer. But it's also worth noting that the apps you install yourself also have an impact on your privacy. Ok, a de-googled phone is nice, but if you're running a bunch of proprietary social media apps like Facebook and TikTok, you might be doing yourself a disservice. If you need to run these apps, you might want to use third-party clients from the F-Droid store, rather than the official clients, as this can potentially reduce spyware on the client side. Now of course, no phone is truly private. Even Linux phones and feature phones aren't perfect, simply because phones are communication devices and aren't designed to be private. But if you're looking to reduce your dependence on companies like Google and Apple, I think a de-googled Android phone like Lineage OS or Graphene OS makes a lot of sense, because you get the benefits of Android like custom launches and device routing, without Google or the manufacturer stealing your data and soul. And unlike Linux phones, you can run a lot of the apps that you depend on for work. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, if you liked it, hit that like button, if you didn't like it, well the other button seems to work as well, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.